Happy VA Wednesday. Today we're gonna to talk about restoring your VA eligibility. That is right. A lot of people assume, well, if I sell a house that has a VA loan, then my eligibility gets automatically restored. No, it doesn't. It's something that you either have to do or the lender has to do. So let's talk about that. Now, I just know it from the lender's perspective because I'm not a veteran, so I've ha I have not had to do it myself, but you guys can. Um, it is something you can do. So here's what happens. Let's say that you are selling your house in Texas and you're moving to Virginia, okay? This one has a VA loan. This one's gonna have a VA loan. Let's say you're closing this one on Tuesday and we're gonna close this one on Wednesday. Can we restore your full eligibility quick enough so we can close on the new house? Yes, yes we can. And that's because basically what we have to do is we have to submit to VA proof that this loan, the Texas loan, has been paid off. That's how we're restoring your eligibility. So let's say 10 years ago, you sold a house in Texas and you need your full eligibility, you're buying in California. We all, need, we all know you need your full eligibility for most of California because it's so expensive. So if you need your full eligibility, what can happen if you're working with an inexperienced lender, they're gonna get your certificate of eligibility, they're gonna see the mortgage on there still. Right now, when we see a mortgage on there, we go, Hey, <laughs> we've got a mortgage showing up. So did you sell a house or do you have one you haven't told us about? Because sometimes people haven't disclosed a property. Um, and a lot of times we'll go, Oh, I sold the house. Great. Can we please get the uh, settlement statement that shows that you closed this house? Because between your credit report that shows that that mortgage is now closed and the settlement statement, we can submit that to VA and get your eligibility restored. There's a lot of lenders that A, don't even know that's a thing, and B, don't know how to do it. So if you're in a situation where you're using your eligibility for a second, third, multiple time, you want to make sure that you're working with a lender that knows how to restore eligibility. It is a thing. Okay. Now, sometimes people are like, well, wait, Jen, are you saying that I can't have a VA loan to buy another VA loan? No, I'm not saying that. We've talked about this a lot. If you watch the channel, if you guys, you can have multiple VA loans provided you have enough eligibility. However, sometimes people need more eligibility or their full eligibility. So they may sell a property or if you guys sell a house, right? You don't want your eligibility being tied up. You want it restored so that it's clean to buy a new house. So really important because I have heard from clients that lenders have declined them and said they don't have enough eligibility without asking the question, Hey, do you still own that house? I know, right? Hard question. Do you still own that house? And if they say, no, I sold it. Let's restore that eligibility. Let's get you into a new house. So I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that it's something that can be done. Um, we'll talk more about refinancing and how many times you can restore your eligibility because there are rules on that as well. So stay tuned for another VA Wednesday coming soon. Thanks for watching guys.